coming soon to a theater near you. That big mouth, bigoted owner of the Cincinnati Reds in her first major motion picture, Driving Miss Shaw. You know, Hulk, I don't understand why I gotta go to this damn hearing anyway. Well, I they say it because of your racial hiring practice with Miss Mel. Why, that's just insane. If anything, I discriminate in favor of the black man. Uh, uh, Miss Mel? Like when I hired you, I said I need a driver and he better damn well be black. The blacker, the better. Well, thank you, Miss Mel. <laughs> Not at all. You know, Hulk, did you know that I am so sympathetic to the black man I've even taken a slave name? And what's that now, ma'am? Master. <laughs> just a little joke, Hulk. Oh, look here. Don't get nothing on you now, Miss Mel. <laughs> but, you know, I wouldn't recommend you say them type of thing when you go for that hearing today. Because that's what got you in trouble in the first place. And the press might not take kindly to it. Oh, the press. <laughs> They're just a bunch of liberal Jews. They're the ones who made me shorten the team name to the Reds. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, what, 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 what did the name used to be, Miss Mel? The Colorettes. Oh. Get it? The Colorettes. Oh, you ain't got to tell me. <laughs> it was just a little more fitting, don't you think? You know, Hulk, speaking of Jews, have you heard the one about the new Jewish sports car? Oh, uh, ma'am? It stops on a dime. Even picks it up. Oh, <laughs> oh hush up now, Miss Shot. I'm killing myself. Oh, you're killing me, too. <laughs> you know, Hulk, if you don't drive this car better, I'm going to trade you the Jets along with those other uppity millionaires. Now, ma'am, you starting to work Hawk's last good nerve. Now, you shouldn't say such things. I'll say what I want. You're driving like an idiot. I can drive better from back here. Now, Miss Shot, that's the first sensible thing you done said all day. I got to go make one. What? Ah! Ah! Don't miss driving this shot. Because sometimes what you say can drive you over the edge. How you living, boy? How you living, boy? How you living? You can do what you want to do. brother. Season's greetings to you. Whatever you're selling, son, I don't want none. No, 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 wait, please, please, sir. See, uh, no, please, please, sir, calm down. See, I'm not trying to sell you anything. See, I just want to spread a little bit of holiday cheer for the Christmas season by singing you one of my Christmas carols. Now, if you like it, then, of course, I appreciate a small donation. If not, then perhaps you could just give me some honest criticism. Well, you can sing what you want, son, but I ain't giving you a dime. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Ah! <laughs> Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to choke a man in his hallway. Hey, bashing in your skull with aluminum baseball bat. Swinging for the stands, laughing while your brain goes flat. Ha, ha, ha. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Throw you down a flight of stairs if you do not pay. <laughs> do you take credit cards, son? I certainly do, sir. It is better to give than receive. Have a good day. 
Good evening, folks. But can I spread a little bit of holiday cheer to your season by singing you one of my Christmas carols? Look, pal, we don't have time. We're on our way to a party. But please, can I just sing one, sir? Just one. And if you like it, then I'd appreciate a small donation. If not, then maybe I can have some honest criticism. Okay, go. Okay. <laughs> Joy to the world, Ice Pole has come to tie you to his car and drag you through the snow. Did make your girl a hoe and sell that bitch on the street to every brother I meet. Then stomp your boyfriend's head up on the concrete. Uh, I'm sorry, madam. I cannot take your purse, but I'll take your damn wallet. Have a Merry Christmas, sir. Merry Christmas to you. Fa la 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 la. Good evening, sir. Merry Christmas to you. I'm here to spread a little bit of holiday cheer by singing some Christmas carols. Do you mind? Oh man, now this is a coincidence, man. Cause I feel like spreading a little holiday cheer myself. Do you mind? Oh, not at all, sir. All Feel right. free. <laughs> Twas the night before Christmas, <laughs> and I just lost my job. <laughs> no food in my stomach, <laughs> so I decided to rob. <laughs> the victim was singing <laughs> and caroling along, <laughs> so I stuck my slipper shoe up his Santa Claus. <laughs> wow, I guess the holiday does bring out the best in everybody. <laughs> spending the holidays helping collect money for those less fortunate than myself, which is everybody in this neighborhood. <laughs> While these knuckleheads wild shopping and spending next month's rent, Miss Benita was learning to be a technician at Dr. Fleischer's school of oil and wart removal. <laughs> That's right, I'm gonna have me something. Oh, look at here, here comes my neighbor, Mr. Herbie. Hey, Mr. Herbie, got something for the cattle? Sorry, no change. Oh, that's okay, Mr. Herbie. Thank you, thanks anyway. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. <laughs> that man's so cheap he wouldn't leave a tip at a circumcision. <laughs> but I ain't one to gossip, so you ain't heard that from me. <laughs> oh, bless you, Mr. Singer. You're so kind and generous. You're always giving it up to the widows and the orphans. <laughs> right now, he's giving it up to old Widow Johnson. <laughs> that man seemed more tailed than a veterinarian. <laughs> <laughs> and dumb as a post. <laughs> that girl's so stupid she nearly strangled herself with a cordless phone. <laughs> and such an idiot, if you gave up pity for her thoughts, you'd have change coming back. <laughs> Once she got lost in thought and they had to send a search party to get out. <laughs> but I ain't one to gossip, so you ain't heard that from me. moving his bowels, that is. Mm -hmm. That's because of that new fiber diet he's on. The man eats so much oak bran and once passed a wicker chair. Does more wiping than the squeegee at a truck stop. Oh, if it ain't Nisi Anderson and her two little kids. Oh, look at them. They look just like Santa's helpers. <laughs> 
More like Satan's helpers. <laughs> them kids so bad, even Chucky won't play with them. <laughs> but I ain't one to gossip, so you ain't heard that from me. Excuse me, miss. I don't mean to bother you. Did you see a lady in a trench coat come through here? No. What's, is there a problem, sir? Well, she's been exposing herself at the hardware department. Now, she's done it before. She's a little crazy in the head. Her name is, uh, uh, Jenkins. <laughs> She's a fine lady, fine lady. Honey, I love me some Miss Jenkins. She's a pillar in this community. We all look up to her. You say nothing bad about Miss Jenkins, honey. <laughs> you just don't get too close. That woman's drawing so funky she uses an order to eat it as a panda shield. <laughs> but I ain't one of the gossip, so you ain't heard that from me. Now, y'all listen to Miss Benita and have a nice holiday. <laughs> It's Motel recording artists Cephas and Reese Mayweather in their most ambitious project yet. Cephas and Reese sing tunes for time. of Saturday morning cartoon themes up. Care of Motel Records, P.O. Box, ABC, Chiplin Switch, Mississippi, 90210. News bringing you a live report from the scene of a crime. Can anyone tell me what they know? I'm an investigating officer and I was the first one on the scene. I can tell you what we have assessed thus far. I'm an expert criminologist with a doctorate in psychology and I can assess the situation. Oh, yeah, but check this. I seen the whole thing, right? I seen the whole thing. I can tell you what went down. Good. Stop. Why do reporters always choose the most unintelligent, uninformed black eyewitness? Why? 
Yeah, you know, it was definitely some people that did it. You know, because I was just about to get busy with my lady, right? Because she was naked and I was butt naked, right? Then I heard some and I, yeah, and then I heard some. I said, yo, yo, bitch, get up off me, right? Then, keep this. Is this going to be on the news? Hey, what's up, man? Denise, tell mama to look at the news. Hi, mama. Why? <laughs> Now, are you sure you know how to handle kids? Oh, hey, you're talking to Al Merry Christmas McAfee here. You know I teach at the high school shop class. Now, if I can keep those future convicts from goosing each other with a damn nail gun, I can keep these little rugrats in line. All right, good. Go to it. Okay, here we go. By the way, ho, ho, ho. Hi, Santa. Hi there, son. Now, what you got in your mouth? Gum. Oh, did we bring enough for everybody? <laughs> and get rid of it. Come on, right here. Come on, son. Oh, a wise guy. Now, uh, uh, what did you want Santa to bring you for Christmas? I want a dirt bike, Super Nintendo, uh -huh. a computer. Oh, a brand new house, too? Let me ask you yeah. something, son. What does your father do for a living, son? He's a janitor. Yeah. Well, uh, boy, I think this year, Santa's going to be bringing you a little dose of reality. How's a push broom and a pail full of dust? Now, get out of here. Come on. Come on. Uh, Santa, your lap's hurting me. Uh, yeah, sorry, kid. Yeah, Santa caught some hot shrapnel when he was uh, flying his magic sleigh on a bombing run over Cambodia back in 72. You know, this hip's made out of solid steel. We have activated our inventory control system. Please step back and try again. All right, what are you trying to run off with there, son? Nothing. Pair of shoes. Why? It ain't none of your business. Well, let's just say Santa is making it his business. Now, you got a receipt, wise guy? Here, right here. Yeah, well, okay, you got a receipt for that. But, um, uh, you got a receipt for this shirt you're wearing? Huh? This shirt? This is mine. I wore it here. Oh, yeah, I think it's time you heard Santa's speech on shoplifting. Not picking, not checking! <laughs> Man, you ain't nothing but a flat foot maniac. Come at me, son. Come at me. Yeah, chicken butt. That's okay. Hey, watch it. I'll kick your teeth in. Merry Christmas, Santa. Oh, Merry Christmas, Sal, uh, to you. Uh, looks like uh, you don't have a chimney, so uh, Santa's gonna have to use a doorbell. Ding dong! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Ruthie, I, I mean, uh, Miss Tompkins, at your service. So, uh, what you got in the bag? None of your business. Oh, oh, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> well, looky here, looky here. <laughs> Looks like somebody's going to a little holiday orgy. Find <laughs> if old St. Mac tag along. Uh, it's a teddy, okay? Something you've never seen before, sure. Oh, oh I could just see it now. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. You're wearing this flimsy little piece of nothing. On that taut, tiny, chocolate brown body of yours, wreathing, wiggling, ma, ma, McAfee. Oh, so what do you say, babe? Santa wants to find out if you've been naughty or nice. Hey, come on. <laughs> I'd rather pass a flaming you log, idiot. I see you're still working out, Ruthie. Oh, she wants me. Look, what is your problem, Kringle? You're supposed to be over here in Santa's village. Well, Look, the damn kids are done left. Well, you know, uh, if this store security was what it should be, Santa wouldn't have to leave his post. Well, you know what? If you don't get back to your post, the next line you're going to be in is the unemployment line. <clears throat> Weren't you a student of mine? I failed it, didn't I, boy? Santa, you may not be a very good Santa, but I love you. Oh, that's... You know, I tell you, when you uh, see the happiness on the face of the little kitties like this... Makes a whole gig worthwhile. Come on, son. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Hi, I want to say Feliz Navidad to my family in New York City. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everyone. Merry Christmas, Mom and Dad, Grandma and Grandpa, family and friends. I love you. Um, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> 
Merry Christmas to all my family back in Jersey, and hey, Redshaw School in New Brunswick, New Jersey, and happy birthday, Jersey. She's Thank a New you. Year's baby. Thank you, and happy birthday to my sister. She's a Christmas baby. Jessica, I love you. Um, Merry Christmas to my family and friends, Janet and Renee. And I want to wish a merry, merry, merry Christmas to those who aren't as fortunate as we are. Merry Christmas, and God bless. Hi, Grandma. I'd like to wish a Merry Christmas to all the spineless little weaklings I had to crush to get where I am today. <laughs> now we have a special Christmas gift for you. Mm -hmm. Hang on the mistletoe I'm gonna get to know you better This Christmas and as we trim the tree, how much fun it's gonna be together this Christmas. The fireside is blazing bright. Oh yeah, we're caroling through the night, and this Christmas will be a very special Christmas for. Merry Christmas, Grandma. 